Avilio. Welcome, wizards, witches, and nomads, friends and foes. My name's David Sicello, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to visit my channel, Wands and Reviews. Anton Vogel was portrayed by Oliver Masucci in Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. He was a German wizard who was the German Minister of Magic and, concurrently, the Supreme Mugwump of the International Confederation of Wizards in the early 1930s. Although he presented himself as politically impartial, fair, honest, and tolerant, Anton Vogel was in reality corrupt and dishonest. He expunged Gellert Grindelwald of all his crimes on the grounds of insufficient evidence against him. Anton Vogel, Ida Webb, and Victor watched from far above as Grindelwald exited his car and marched through the streets of Berlin with his supporters. Anton Vogel assured that allowing Grindelwald to run in the election was simply a way to allow his supporters to express their views democratically without resorting to any violence, and that he wanted him to lose the election. However, secretly, he was a supporter of Gellert Grindelwald and his view for the greater good. Anton later witnessed firsthand the revival of the dead chillin by necromancy performed by Grindelwald within the lower levels of Nurmengard Castle, along with Credence and Vinda Razier. As Supreme Mugwump, Anton Vogel was present at the Walk of the Chillin, where he pronounced Gellert Grindelwald as the new leader of the wizarding world after the reanimated Chillin bowed before him. Knowing of Grindelwald's deception, Newt Scamander had announced that the Chillin was actually dead. Vogel attempted to prove the Chillin was alive, only for it to expire in his arms. Grindelwald was abdicated by the living Chillin, the twin of the reanimated dead Chillin, when it bowed before Vincencia Santos, proclaiming her as the new supreme mugwump. Today, I would like to share with you the official replica wand of Anton Vogel from the Noble Collection. Anton Vogel's wand comes in a plum-colored collector's wand box. On each end, the wand box has Anton Vogel's name. The bottom of the box has the Fantastic Beasts and Noble Collection logos with Anton Vogel's name and the proper copyright information. When you remove the box top, the wand is covered by two translucent black ribbon strips. The wand itself sits in a slot inside the box that is made of a soft velvet-like material. In the wizarding world, the wand is made from an unknown wood with an unknown core and measures in at 14 inches in total length. The wand is made from resin and has a smooth, thin, and pointed shaft that is brown in color and tapers as it reaches the ornate handle. The handle has a proper 1920s German design. It is made from a lightweight resin painted to resemble metal. 
If the handle was made of real metal, it would be heavy due to its robust size. Instead, the Noble Collection went with a cheaper, more practical route which makes the wand feel extremely light. As you hold the wand, the pinky rests within the lower section of the handle and is prevented from sliding off by the golden colored end cap. I can see this useful as I imagine Anton Vogel being aggressive and firm, waving his arm while casting spells instead of remaining calm. Truly a unique wand design for its time showing power, discipline, and the German way for the former German Minister of Magic and Supreme Mugwump of the International Confederation of Wizards. After the Walk of the Chillin, it is not known what happened to Anton Vogel. He may have been taken into custody and sent to Erkstag Prison, where a new warden was ready to take over. Or perhaps he could have been sent to Azkaban Prison. What do you think happened to Anton Vogel? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. This is Anton Vogel's wand as seen in Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. I think the Noble Collection did a great job on replicating this wand, but due to the wand's design, I wish the wand's handle had just a little bit more weight to it. But, if you would like to add Anton Vogel's wand to your very own wand collection, you can purchase it directly from the Noble Collection's website and I'll leave a link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this one video review today. If you did, show my channel some support by clicking on that thumbs up button. And if you would, subscribe to my channel if you're not already doing so. I'm trying to gain more subscribers and you can help me out by sharing this video with your family and all of your friends. Thank you and have a greater day for the greater good.